man. If I call your name during this uh, short story, you should come over here next to us, okay? So pay attention because your name might be called anytime. <laughs> Where's my, okay. As you all know, this is an amazing day for all of us that have been involved with TOCA for so many years. It's the start of a dream come true. But we would not be here today without the help of so many people that have contributed in big and small ways to make TOCA what it is today. As some of my players know, I briefly tried to give a hard hat toward hat hard award to the players that train the hardest. Today, we're going to give a hard hat to some of the many, many wonderful people who have contributed to bring us here. Before we start thanking everyone, I would like to recognize Francisco Montero and Carlos Troncoso, who are the two co-founders of TOCA. We have been glued together by this project since day one. Along the day, along the way, we lost one of the four founders, Guy Petray, to Wharton and then to Nike. Because who knows why he thought those were better opportunities. <laughs> I'm going to give his hard hat to his brother, Gustavo, who has been very helpful running player registration these last two years. I am certain that I am going to forget so many people we want to thank. So I want to apologize ahead of time, but this is a risk I will have to take because a day like today, we cannot go without thanking as many as you as my memory allows me. We should start with our lovely wives, Guillermina and Claudia, who has been so kind to allow us. Where's Gizem? They have been so kind to allow us to keep doing dishes so we can have fun on the field. Our dreams, our dreams started with parents who were willing to believe in this project. They brought us players like John Moravito. John started at the age of nine, and 15 years later, I continue to see him coaching our teams at the age of 24, along with his teammates, Will and Santi. I don't think Will is here today, but Santi's here. These young adults have just played in their own team Toca Classic with three other coaches. Pablo, Pablo Goldstein. Our longest and most committed ex-player become coach. I don't know where Pablo is. I think he might have gone to the creek. <laughs> but uh, we'll get him in a few minutes. Also, Matias Vesperoni and Nico Smirthwaite, who is following his dad's footsteps in his coaching career. Scott, with whom I coached my first team for Nico and my son Francisco 
in the recreational league. <laughs> Thanks to this coaching experience, I was lucky to be introduced by one of the players of that team to Coach Saul. Where's Coach Saul? With, with Pancho and Charlie, we recognize that Saul was a unique and loyal coach, and we welcome him to the club. Saul started our first Tokyo Girls team 10 years ago, and I'm certain that he has plenty of people to thank, like assistant coach Danielle, Daniela, sorry, and coach uh, Rodrigo. who continues to play in our adult team. Thanks to Pancho and Charlie that, was, that still play in the Whistle Adult League, we were able to meet Coach Hussein, a referee in this league. We are grateful every week for the tremendous work Hussein does with our Minis program. Another key program is our fitness run by our dedicated trainer, Joe Medrano, who was also introduced by one of the players that used to coach with us. Because we enjoy being involved with education, and the Argentinian culture. So many players are part of the Argentinian school. We got involved in building a soccer program for the school. And that's how we met Coach Victor. Now, we're delighted to have him working with our youngest boys program. Since we strongly believe in family, and we are, a family-oriented club. We were lucky to find a dad and son coaching crew like Marco and Nico who are coaching our middle school team. One of the unique characteristics of our club is that so many parents are passionate about soccer and they currently play and coach. Since I am a parent and I enjoy coaching my kids' team, we realize that other parents can have similar interests. And we notice that the kids and success of the teams follow this passion and engagement of parents coaching like Fernando Plastino, Mark Johnson, Juan Caicedo, I'm not see here. Mike Colavito, Bernie and Robert Fatal, that they coach on the Minis program. We also have to thank prior coaches that have contributed enormously to the club, like Javier Bartoli and and Scott I already mentioned. But this unique club with a family-oriented center priority would not be complete without the mothers being involved. Last year, we created our Moms Troopers program. Thanks to mothers like Maria Barón, and Paula Lugones, who continue to push twice a week, every week, to the moms engage. Yeah. 
Last but not least, we want to thank the adult teams for your loyalty. These teams are organized and energized by Gino, who keeps the talk over 40, playing every Wednesday night after 9 p.m. year round. Where's Gino? Gino! Gino, 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 Gino. Gino. These guys play every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. and after, at Soccerplex. And Charlie and Pancho that continue to run La Tocadita in the Whistle League for the last 23 years and almost 50 seasons playing in that league. Our new classic coach and young adult team that was just started last year by my son Francisco, and Santiago, who I already mentioned, and our coach by another passionate soccer dad, Esteban Beperoni. Esteban is not here. Finally, one of the reasons that we're standing in this beautiful farm is thanks to the vision of Tony Chequia, the fairy godfather that has made his dream a little closer to real. So this is the guy that found this property for us. Thank you, Tony. Tony. We are now ready to introduce to you our plans for the Toka Junior Soccer Complex. We thank Andrew Brown and Mike Swanson who are now here for their work to get their site plan to meet our expectations and still get it approved by the county. Please take a moment to enjoy our fantastic scale model created by two of our Toca moms and troopers, Veronica Requena and Silvia Vesperoni. They work so hard. The entire week. Finally, we need to thank every one of you for your support, for believing of this crazy club that prioritizes friendship over tryouts, inclusion over exclusion, and coming out here to join us to celebrate this new step for, the, for our club. We're now going to plant this small oak tree to commemorate the first breaking of the ground and the beginning of construction of our very own soccer club. Please get close, acérquense cuando puedan, so we, pueden ver el proyecto todos. Estamos todos muy agradecidos de que hayan venido y poder contar con todos ustedes en esta gran familia. Please stay after the tree is planted to hear our very own Ariel Stein. Who also plays in the over four, 40 and his band, his band por orden del doctor, who were very kind to join us today, and a lot of soccer players in that band as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very, very much.